In a country that spent most of its 66 years under military rule, this election is being dubbed the biggest and best yet, with 36 million new voters, more female candidates, more independents, more polling stations and more observers than ever before. So this time around, yes, we can expect a lot of changes to happen in Pakistan. Hopefully they will. There's a new hope for our country and I hope that um, you know this will change the situation in Pakistan. So I think what you know, giving vote this time would make a difference. People's Party in a the Pakistan People's Party is campaigning to win a second term, led by the son of its assassinated former leader, Benazir Bhutto. Even though at only 24 years old, Bilawal Bhutto Zardari is legally too young to stand for election himself. The PPP made history by completing a full term of government, but its record is questionable. The country is still plagued by growing extremism and sectarian violence, endemic corruption and a broken economy. The main opposition comes from the Pakistan Muslim League, Nawaz, led by one of the country's leading industrialists and richest men, Nawaz Sharif. He's been prime minister twice before and was overthrown in a coup and exiled when Musharraf seized power in 1999. Viewed as a religious conservative, he feels it's his turn to take back the reins of power. Hot on his heels is Imran Khan. The cricketer turned politician and his political party boycotted the last election, calling Musharraf a dictator. He says he's not resting on his laurels as a sportsman, celebrity or heartthrob. He's calling for an end to corruption, drone strikes and a reliance on Western aid. His party is being credited for pulling in the youth vote. Conspicuously absent is former President Musharraf. He returned from self-imposed exile to take part in these elections, but has been banned by a court from participating in politics. His party, the APML, has announced a boycott. Add to the mix major secular and liberal parties like the AMP and MQM in the northwest and southern provinces. The Pakistan Taliban had warned secular parties against campaigning. Party offices have been bombed and politicians from both parties have been assassinated. Despite an increase in violence across the country, all eyes are on May the 11th, when the people of Pakistan hope to have their voices heard by voting in a democratic government. Simon Mawson, CNN, Islamabad, Pakistan.